Hi everyone. I know it's been a while since I've had a uh, video. I have been away. I was, uh, I actually took a workshop myself and uh, last week I was down in Myrtle Beach painting. So independently painting. Uh, so this is one of the paintings I worked on last week. I thought it was finished, but the more I look at it, I realize it's not finished. Um, there's an iron in it on the right hand side. So I have to change that. Um, and I want to make it look just a little bit more painterly. It looks like it's overdone at the top, not necessarily at the bottom, but overpainted on the top. I'll give you a couple close up close ups of what it looks like now. I do like the top with the uh, green and the turquoise and the red. There's actually a little bit of uh, magenta in there as well. Uh, but I want to bring something down over it because it's too neat. And here is all of my mark making. Some of it is from the beginning. Some of it is from uh, later. I like the bottom. I like the bottom a lot. So I don't plan on changing that. Then we go up the side, and there's the iron. So I need I need to change that, and uh, I'm going to bring more light down through the middle. I think on the left hand side I'm going to make it darker, and then lighter down through the middle. And I want to change the uh, iron imprint. So other than that, I am happy with it. Um, it shouldn't take me too long to to work on it. So. That's what she looks like right now. We'll get started in just a minute. Okay, uh, what I've done is I've taken a piece of uh, freezer paper and I've painted on it with, and this is actually cad, uh, cad orange hue, and I've put a lot of white into it, and I'm gonna press it into on top of this and then I'm going to put another layer on top of it because I want to try to get some uh, lightness into it. I could brayer. See the effect that you get which I like. I'm going to go up a little bit higher. Yeah, I like that. Put a little bit down here. And I'm sure that this is, most of this is going to be covered. Up. Oh yeah, I like that little bit of orange showing through. Okay, now I'm going to bring it down a little bit further yet. I don't know if you can see that right here. I'm going to paint some more orange because I want to bring that down a little bit further. And then I'm going to put some lighter orange on top of it. But that's pretty much in the middle. So I have to make a decision if you want to bring it over this way or this way. And I think I'm going to bring it over this way because it will somewhat connect to that. doing it this way. Most of the time I use wax paper, but for some reason I'm not using my wax paper because I saw this and I thought I'll just use this. But it's a good way to put cut more color onto your painting without um, using a brush or any other tool. It looks more painterly this way. Oops. 
a little bit over there. Oh yeah, and it, some of it went on top of the uh, iron. The iron. Yep. Let's see, I'm just transferring it on now. There's a little bit left on this. Yep. I'm liking that. Now, I have some uh, lighter color already mixed up here. This is the same color, but it has more white in it. don't like this light right here because your eye goes right there and I don't want your eye to go there. I want your eye to stay up in this area. There, yeah, that's better. I'm sure that I'm going to cover a lot of that up with paint. Okay, I'm kind of happy with that. Now, this is very uh, wet, so I do have to let it set up a little bit. And it's very thick right here, so I am going to blot it a little bit. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to let that dry, set up a little bit, and then I'm going to start painting with my blues. So I'll be back in about 15-20 minutes. This is what it looks like now. I know you couldn't see a, a close-up of it before, but you can see the irregular pattern that you get when you transfer off of another piece of paper, which I like. And it went up across the red, which I really like. Here it is down here, and then over towards the iron mark. Okay, I'm about ready to start. It's been about 15 minutes. And I think I'm going to start with a brayer. Don't know if I'm gonna continue with the brayer, but I'm gonna try to see if the brayer gives me the type of effect that I want. It might be too dark. It is for now. This is Thalo Turquoise that I'm using. I'm not sure if I like that. I'm going to try another tool, and this is a kitchen spatula.
not really doing anything either. big blob there now. All else fails, dry a brush. to do? I might have to transfer because that's not doing it either. This is uh, ultramarine blue with white. The other was the phthalo turquoise with white. Having trouble, guys. Right off the bat. I have to get rid of some of this because it's too much. I'm just trying to get a little bit of lightness in through the middle. I am 
absolutely barely touching it. Barely. And I just barely touch it, I get a lot of the texture. I don't know if you can see that or not. But that's what I'm going after. It's starting to work for me now. Barely touching it, not putting any pressure on it whatsoever. Wow, it's really showing the texture now. Which I was looking for. Too light right there at that one spot. I have to get it lighter up at the top, not just there. Because that's close closer to the middle, and I don't want your eye to go directly to the middle. I'll put some light up here too. There, that's better. Get that down just a little bit. Okay, now I love the purples that's in there. Now I have to decide about this red line at the top. And what this green is, that greenish color, believe it or not, that phthalo turquoise with some raw sienna in it and um, some white. So maybe that's what I'll do. I'm going to grab my raw sienna. There, I came. I brought some of that green down over the line. That I like. Maybe I'll do a little bit of that right in through here. Put a little bit more white into it. A little bit more white and a little bit more raw sienna. I need some of that green down and through here. happening there. I think I'm going to need a little bit more turquoise in this area. Dark turquoise. Thalo turquoise without any some pure thalo. This is pure thalo right here. Yep, I like that. Now I'm going to go back to my purple. Put some purple up in here. This is what color am I using? I am using Ultramarine Violet from Golden. a little bit up above as well. Up 
look back. I have to stand back and see what that looks like. Because there's a huge glare on it. Huge glare. I like that purple. Now I have to find whatever color this, I think that, that could be magenta as well. Quinn, let's try some Quinn magenta. I just touched that one, I'm going to do a smear it a little bit. Yep, I, ooh I like it. Tired of watching me yet? There, that's better. Is it or is it not? I don't magenta with some white. It has a little bit of magenta, a little bit of white, a little bit of turquoise into it. Okay, now I'm going to go into it with some mark making. I like what's happened. The first thing I'm going to do is draw some lines into what I've done. And if it dries too fast, all you have to do is spray it with some water. And then it'll rejuvenate it. And I'm thinking maybe I'll want a few lines, drips over here, so that I, I put more water here. It will drip down. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that or not, but all of this is rejuvenated now. Ooh! to go into and change this shape somewhat.
And these are soft pastels that I'm using. Um, I get them from AC Moore. I don't know the name of them. What I'm doing is I'm trying to draw some lines from one side to the other so it brings your eye across. I have some of the magenta on it. And I like the uh, uneven lines that the magenta, that the, not the magenta, but the skewer makes. Let's see if those drips, if anything happened with those drips. I don't think they did, but let's try. It's wet right there. Oh, yep, you can see a little bit of dripping. Not much. And these are the uh, woodies made by, who makes woodies? Stabilo. It's a light blue. This is a pretty color. Now that's iron, it's not quite as noticeable. And this is Nova's Thalo Turquoise, but it's much lighter than the other third Thalo Turquoise I was using. looks a lot better. Now, there's one more thing I want to do and that's pencil lines. And this is just a pencil. Finished. I'm very happy with it now. Do I want any orange down here? I just touched that. That's fine. I just put a hint of orange down there. finished guys. This is really the story here and I'm looking at this light green saying do I want it to be lighter. 
maybe a hint. But I want it to be a very muted green. I don't want it to overpower anything. Maybe a little bit of light blue up there. What do you think about that? Let's try it. I'm just tapping it just ever so slightly. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to give you a close up of this, but I just wanted to let you know that uh, there's a lot of water soluble uh, stuff on top so what I'm going to do is after it's totally dry I'm going to spray it with a fixative of some type and then uh, I will before I varnish it so thanks for watching and I'm sorry I haven't been uh, posting but I needed to get away a bit and I'm sure you understand that and it was nice to uh, I have a sister that lives in Myrtle Beach so it was nice to be down in Myrtle Beach with her and I also was uh, with a group of artists and we get together once a year and paint in Myrtle Beach and there was about 50 of us and we were from all over the United States and we all know each other so we had a really really good time and the week prior to that I uh, took a workshop myself and my very dear friend, and I'm sure some of you know my very dear friend, uh, Lisa Bordwine. She and I are best friends, and she stayed at my home for a week, and we had a blast, and we took a workshop together, had a good time. I hated to see her go. She's a wonderful gal. So thanks for watching, guys, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, I sure would like it if you could. Thanks so much. And if there's anything you didn't like, let me know as well as what you did like. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, here's what it looks like close up. Now, it looks dark on here. I don't know why uh, it looks this dark because it isn't this dark. And you can see it's lighter in the middle, which I like. And I'll give you some close-ups now. I love that top. Here's the top the whole way across. You can see I brought some of that uh, orange down through. That's really cad, uh, cat orange hue. And that red originally was cad red light. You can see a lot of my line work going on there. There you can see some of the texture. Then we're going to go down further. And this is the bottom. I'm really liking the bottom too. Some of my line work. There you can see lines with the orange showing through underneath. But that's what it looks like now. And I thank you very much for watching. And I will post a photo as well. Thanks, guys.